Hello and welcome to the 2017 Smudge Pot Rivalry Game. Back deep for Benita. The Benita Bearcats. I'm Dylan Gronseth alongside TJ Sanchez. We're here in Glendora, California at Citrus College. TJ, quickly, why don't you tell the folks at home a little bit about the history of the Smudge Pot Game. That's right. Well, this year marks the 45th annual Smudge Pot matchup, like you said, between the Bonita Bearcats and the San Dimas Saints. The Smudge Pot started in 1972, um, and last year the Saints took it 42-14, to finishing second overall in their Valley Vista, Valley Vista League play with a record of 3-2 in league and 8-3 and overall. Uh, watch out for number 54, Arturo Placentia. He's a senior defensive and offense linebacker. Number five, senior Dylan Ware, a linebacker and running back. Also, number seven, junior Dylan O'Leary. He'll be the Saints quarterback and safety. Same the game can start here. Dylan, why don't you tell us about the way here. Football season is a quick one to It's hard to believe. San Dimas is definitely the favorites coming into the game. They had a solid year last year. Time for second place. Benita won zero games in league play. They're definitely underdogs. San Dimas won the game last year, isn't that correct? Okay. That's right. San Dimas won the Smudge Pot last year after a three-game losing streak. So the San Dimas Saints are looking to reclaim that title once again. Now, Dylan, what happens when they win? What are they playing for here? Well, they're getting a replica of a Smudge Pot. And for those who don't know, it's this device basically that heats citrus plants so that they don't freeze. And it's just a big bragging right rivalry cross town thing, Laverne and San Dimas are of course bordering towns. Here's Benita running for a couple yards to start the game on first down. Good news for Benita though, they have a star quarterback, JP Andrade. He had a great year as a sophomore. He threw for 2,072 yards. He had 19 touchdowns. He's definitely a player to watch for here. That's right, and we're about to start here. San Dimas with the snap. Throws it long. Andrade has got somebody wide open. And the catch. There. Big pickup down to the 20 yard line of San Dimas. Major, major yardage there. The crowd is going insane already. The capacity here in the stadium is 10,000. They can hold up to 10,000 spectators. And since the game has been held here in 2011, all the students, the friends, the family, even the residents of the cities push that capacity. There are anywhere from five to 7,000 spectators that come to support the annual Smudgebox game each year, and they come to watch the annual rivalry as well. Here we go, first and 10, Andrade is in trouble. Stop there at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Looks like we've got a pretty good crowd on hand here. TJ was saying, expecting about five to 7,000 people. That's right, it's a beautiful night here for a football game. Cooling down from about 90 degrees as the sun sets. We go second and 10. Andrade has a quick, quick throw, picks up a few. Andrade's pass is complete to number six. Third and five. Third and five here. Andrade takes a snap. Incomplete. Fourth down. Oh, the pass went low. Mm -hmm. Definitely within field goal range here. We'll see whether or not they decide to go for it. Fourth That's right. These teams, these teams have been training all summer long for this game. The teams have been training all long, as well as the schools holding rallies to hype up the crowd, hype up the students to get them to come out and support as well. And it worked. There's a lot of attendance here. The cheerleaders on both sides are doing their part as well to get the crowd going. Benita's going for it. It's Andrade. Look in the end zone. He threw it a little long up. Oh. A flag on the play. A flag on the play. Looks like pass interference. San Dimas not too happy about that flag. Andrade's passing the flag on the play. It did look like he tripped a little on his own there. Let's see what they call. I'd like to thank Warehouse Pizza and Old Town Laverne for providing the crew food for tonight's game. Love that Warehouse Pizza. They've been around almost as long as this much fun, haven't they? Up. Oh. Sandy's is celebrating. Looks like the penalty was negated. 
like I said, it looked like he did trip a little on his own, like he tried to sell that for something that really wasn't there. The pass was definitely overthrown by Andrade. So San Dimas will take over at about the 17 yard line. Coming up with the game plan here as they line up to the line, they're getting ready to snap once again. And he runs for it, he gets a few yards, gets a few more than he expected, and he goes down. Dylan O'Leary is the quarterback for San Dimas. Definitely one of their top players this year. Second and one from San Dimas, 24. Sun is just getting ready to set here. It's a very hot day today. O'Leary takes a snap, Get throws fired it, up. easily picks up the first down, a little slant pass there. Get fired up. O'Leary's pass is complete. Uh, both student sections using loudspeakers, clapping, yelling, anything they can do to, to shut down the other side and get their, their home team all fired up for the game. They're definitely fired up. It's extremely loud here. You can feel the, the excitement in the atmosphere. I love football season. It's just kind of like like a comfort blanket for me, just when it, every time of year, it's just. That's right, even the, even the marching bands are playing their part, they're, they're playing their brass sections and all that. Hands off to the running back, loses a few there. He's second in about 13 for San Dimas. Still learning the carry. Loss of two yards. Second and 12. Second and 12. Noah Maldonado is the running back for San Dimas. He's a senior, coming in at 190, five foot nine. Some yeah. big kids here. Yeah, San Dimas coming in second place overall last year in their league play. They won the championship back in 2013. So their coach is really trying to see what he can do to reclaim that league championship once again. These are two teams that are in separate divisions. They normally would not play each other during league play, but this is just an ongoing tradition, this smudge pot game. And like TJ said, it's been going on at Citrus College for about six years now. Six years now. Here we go, third and 11. About eight to go in the first period. O'Leary takes a snap. They're running for it. Oh, he hands it off. The 40. Down at the 45. Picks up the first down. Dylan O'Leary, like Andrade for Benita, is also just a junior, so they'll have one more year left of high school. It's not like college, you can opt out and go to the pros early. You gotta, gotta finish your term. O'Leary takes a snap. Pass complete. A few Picks easy yards the there. Sandim is happy with that. It's like a pretty good mix of teenagers and seniors on the line for San Dimas. They're definitely going to be a team to tangle with this year. Looks like the turf is just getting into the shade here. Should be cooling off soon for those football players working hard out there. And Dylan O'Leary with the ball, sends it to his running back. Gains a few yards there, just Breaks before the, the 40. Picks up another first down. And that was number 14, Dylan Sanchez with the, with the run there. First and 10. This game, has gained, this game has gained so much popularity. There's even there he a, uh, oh, he's going. The, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. It's good. The Saints score the first touchdown of the match here with 6.44 to go. Saints are on the board here.
excellent run by Noah Maldonado. And like I was saying before, the game has gained a lot of popularity. There's even a geo filter on the Snapchat app. So there's a lot of selfies, a lot of pictures of that with the smudge pot geo filter. The kick. And it's good. good. No good? The refs are calling no good. The extra point is no good. The extra point is no good, I'm sorry. Six minutes and 44 seconds into the first quarter. San Diego is up 6 to 0. San Dimas is up 6-0 in the first quarter with 6.44 to go. It's quite a drive. I bet Benita is regretting going for that fourth down, but, you know, hindsight is always 20-20, I suppose. You're watching LVTV in Laverne, KWST in San Dimas. I'm Dylan Gronseth alongside TJ Sanchez. We're still here in the first quarter, about halfway through. Smudge Pot 2017, San Dimas Saints versus Benita Bearcats. San Dimas on the board early, 6 0. That's right. The Bearcats are sporting their white and green on the field with the Saints, the San Dimas Saints, the blue and white on the field as well. I saw them do that earlier. It's kind of a fake kick. That must be a tradition of theirs. That yeah, faked me out too, actually. Try to throw off the opposing team. I've never seen that before in all my years of watching football. It's pretty funny. <laughs> St. Dean's kicks is about the three yard line. Oh! It's taken by San Dean's. For another touchdown. Turnover on Unfortunate the fumble play. by number 23, Victor Sepulveda of the Bonita Bearcats. And wait to see whether or not this stands. There's a play. Bonita coach Ibis Aguilar not happy with that unfortunate turn of events there. We'll see what he can do to turn it around in their favor. Referees are huddling, discussing the call. There was a call earlier where they did not come to consensus. A flag was thrown. Yeah. The flag was thrown, but the, the call was eventually negated on that pass interference earlier against the native to see here in the Both sides coming up with the game plan here for this next upcoming play. Penalty on San Dimas. Oh, no. Personal foul against San Dimas. We're getting a personal foul against San Dimas. Come on, Saints. 634 Saints. left to go the in the first quarter. And this, depending on whether or not San Dimas had possession. This could negate the, the touchdown. Right now, the scoreboard shows 12 0 San Dimas. We'll see if that holds in the next couple of minutes. So, the penalty will be applied on the kick. It's quite a long extra point try here. They missed their first one. We'll see what happens here. 35 yard try here. Ready, Number 26, Aiden Phipps with a very nice yeah, kick there no from good. just about the 25 yard mark. He missed well, six minutes and three, four another extra left point left try. It was 10, 10 yards farther than a normal try. But still, that could come back to haunt them later on. Yes. Burning, burning, burning. Despite two early scores, it's still, still a close game. Yeah, once again, Bonita coach Ibis Aguilar giving his guys a pep talk to see, see if they can turn the tide in their favor. Once again, the, Bo the Bonita team lost last year, so they're looking to possibly reclaim that. 
It's not just bragging rights they're playing for. This is an official game. It's going to count in the overall standings. Not yeah. league standings, not league play, but we're officially underway here. High school and college, and a few weeks now the pros will be starting as well. That's right. Back in 2013, 2014, and 2015, Bonita took the Smudge Pot title. And like we said earlier, 2016, just one year ago, San Dimas reclaimed that. And San Dimas again with their little fake play there. I, I really feel like that's going to get Bonita every time. I don't see the purpose of that. I just think it's just... It's a little strange. Here's the real kick coming in a second here. And number 26, once again, Aiden Phipps kicks it deep. Caught by 13, Michael Avila for Bonita. Made some yardage there. Well, that was better than the last kick. They didn't turn it over. They and needed the crowd's to take here. over. The crowd's here really, really responding to the energy. I feel like, I feel like as the sun's going First down, the energy is going up with these crowds. It's Definitely. ridiculous. I feel like I'm at like a college college football game, Nebraska versus UCLA or something. This is definitely quite an atmosphere. JP Andrade will take the snap in the pocket. A flag on the play. play. Yeah, you mentioned this is like being at a college game. Both teams have had some notable alumni. Uh, the San Dimas Saints had in Ladies class of 1999 DJ Hackett. He lettered in football, basketball, and track. He played for the Washington Redskins in 09. He played in the 2006 Super Bowl with the Seahawks. Wow. And he played for the Carolina Panthers back in 08. Not to discount the Bonita Bearcats, they had a class of 1943 Glenn Davis. Glenn Davis won the Heisman Trophy back in 1946, and he played for the Rams in 1950 way back in the day. Picks up about four on a run there to the side. Carry by number five, Wilson Bay. Number four, Noah Coleman on the tackle. Benita's got to get something going here. Looks like San Dimas definitely has the momentum. Passed out of bounds by Andrade to number 21. Yeah. Number 21, Govin White got a hand on it, but it was not enough. The ball bounced out of bounds. Number four, Noah Coleman on the coverage. Third and 15. And the tackle Looks is like made. Looks like he picked up the JP first down. Three. I think it was actually third and five. The scoreboard was, was wrong there, I'm sorry. Tackle by number 25, Daniel Diaz. First and 10, Benita from their own 40. Now we're coming up on the six minute mark in the first quarter here. The score is 12 to zero. San Dimas Saints pass. are up. Lost a couple, JT San Dimas all over. Pass is complete to number 12, Broussard. For a loss. The sun is just about set. We'll see if that affects Second the play at all, but it's definitely gonna be a, several degrees cooler as we Head into the Tackle second half of the second quarter. Number 15, Chino Barguru. Number 33, Jacob Nori. Second and 12, Benita. Andrade takes a snap. Passes out to number three. Almost picks up the first down. Andrade's pass is complete to number three. Chima and Baraguru with the stop. Third and two from the Benita 48. It's the third and two with five minutes and 20 to go. Again, the score is 12 to zero. The San Dimas Saints are leading. 
First down, Benita. And number five picked up some yards the there. That was a good number run. Five, Wilson Bay. Play results of the first down. First and ten on the San Diego 47. First and ten, San Dimas 47 with five minutes to go. Andrade taking the snap out of the pocket here on first down. Got some pressure. He's tackled, but he picks up a few yards. Not technically a sack because a sack, you have to lose yards for it to be a sack. It is a great game here. There's coming up on four minutes and 30 seconds to go, and there are still people filing into the bleachers. There's still right. crowd members joining us in this game tonight. And a flag on the play once again. False start on the offense. False start on the Bearcats. Be a five yard penalty. Second and 14. Second and 14 now for the Bearcats. Andrade takes a snap. The snap throws too a little high. high. Andrade's pass is incomplete. Intended for number six. Number six got a hand on it, but once again, it was a little bit too high. It was just Third out of 14. his reach. Incomplete. coming up here for the Bearcats. You can really feel the marching band here. You can feel their drums in your it's chest and your stomach. Loud. And a great catch right at the 35. Pass is to number six. Looks like they got the first Tackle down. 15, that was a play for made by number six for Bonita. First and 10 at the San Diego's 35. That was some good reaction time. He turned around, the ball was right there, and he still managed to caught it. Definitely a play that they had planned. That was not just. Bonita here using that momentum. Here's a little option play to the side. Running at the 30. No room though. And he runs out of bounds. Wilson Bay on the carry. Picked up a few yards there. San Dimas 25. That was a seven yard carry. 28, I'm sorry. Picked up seven yards Second there. Second three. It's the old option play, play that the Nebraska Cornhuskers used to run back in the day. Andrade takes a snap. The throw and the catch. Complete. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown Bonita. Touchdown Bonita, number 24, Touchdown, Bonita. all the way to the end zone. The Bonita crowd goes wild. What a drive by Bonita. That was 24. exactly what they needed to get back into this game. It that must have been a good half. pep talk there by Ibis Aguilar. He must have said something because right after they went in for that, that a little meeting there, they've gained this momentum. The crowd's been going with it as well. It's really working to their advantage. Looks like they're going to go for two here, and why not? San Dimas missed both extra point tries, so they're only down by six. This would cut it to four. Very interesting formation they've got here. The team is spread out to the left and to the right. They're snapping it from the left. Snap from number 12, Seth Did they get it? Looks Broussard. like they got it. Completion is good. Completion, 12, Broussard. The quarterback, Seth Broussard, sophomore quarterback. Pass by number 12, so what, an, what an interesting play that was. I've never seen a full team like that. Very heads up by number 12 there. Any level of football. Whatever that was, it worked for Benita. They're back in this game. Seth Broussard, the only sophomore on Bonita's varsity team here. Yellowstone Cabins, owner Julianne Torres. Find the top cabin. So for those watching on LVTV, I'm sure many of you know that Benita is located in Laverne. And San Dimas is, of course, 
one town over in San Dimas. And they're actually only six miles and away, the two schools. Six, six miles. Right, they're right next to each other. There is no Laverne High School, it's just Benita in terms of the public high school. Well, and Damien, too. Yeah, Bonita plays for Division 7, whereas San Dimas plays for Division 8. They play in different leagues. Here we go. This looks like a live ball. San Dimas touched it. We'll see who they give the possession to. And the Bonita crowd once again goes wild. The San Dimas crowd doing anything they can to shut Humble down the momentum six, from the stands. And this is Bonita's ball. They're in excellent field position here. It's kind of the exact opposite of the previous sequence where San Dimas got the ball and a turnover on the kick. I didn't see the referees officially give the ball to Benita, but it looks like they're starting over on offense. Dylan Andrade's back. I mean, sorry, JP Andrade's out there on quarterback. Benita's sitting pretty on the San Dimas 20. First and 10. Andrade's gone for the end zone. First down. Threw it way too high there. Landed about five yards out of bounds. It's a smart thing to do in that situation instead of taking the sack. You got to launch it. You can't commit in technical ground. You got to throw it in the vicinity of the receiver. I agree. We still have three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first. The score is 12 to 8. San Dimas is up. Second and 10. Andrade throws long again. It'll be third and 10. Even a worst case scenario here, Benita can get a field goal and just be down one point. And once again, we'd like to thank our Warehouse Pizza in Old Town Laverne for providing the crew food for tonight's game. You are watching us on LVTV and K West, their local TV station here. Third and ten. We'll see what Benita comes up with here. Andrade throws it. The San Dimas players all over him. Loss of about one. It'll be fourth. That was a great prediction by the San Dimas team. It's almost like they knew exactly what was going to happen, and they shut it down. That was not much of a play for third fourth and ten. Fourth and thirteen from the San Dimas 22. Would have taken a lot of blocks for him to break free there. And coming back in for Bonita, number 12, Seth Broussard. Once again, the sophomore quarterback. Getting some pointers from their coach, Ibis Aguilar. Ibis came in, came in last year and again had a very disappointing season last year. They went 0-6 in league. They came in last place in There's league play. Out. Their coach the Ibis field. is hoping to turn that around for this league play for this year. You're saying that three years prior they had a much better team, is that right? Or they at least won the smudge pot game. That's correct. Back in 2013, Bonita took it 33 to 13. In 2014, Bonita won 23 to 14 as well. And in 2015, Bonita pretty much shut down San Diego's 28 to 7. But once again, it could be anyone's sure game because San Dimas took it last year, 42 to 14. San Dimas scored 28 points in the second half in that game. So we'll see. It could be another possible comeback here. It's very early on in the game. We still have over two minutes left in the first. I'd say despite a couple turnovers, both teams are looking pretty Make sure sharp all you little so fans out there get a chance to take a picture with Sammy the Saint. I hear he really loves taking pictures. We've got fourth and long for Benita. Fourth and 13 on the San Dimas 22. And I'm very surprised that they're going for it here. Andrade takes a snap. Goes long. 
Nobody there. Just not out of close. bounds. Man. Andrade pass is incomplete. Intended for number seven. And once again, we're coming to you from Citrus Community College in Glendora. It has cooled off number to a nice 85 yeah. degrees with the cool oh, humidity going on here. Third Should be a lot nicer on the field for the players as well. We've got a great view up here in the announcement. I used to go to college here, and you can see the, the driving range, the baseball field. It's really very picturesque. San Dimas takes over here on their own 26. Dylan O'Leary takes a snap, hands it off. Nice little trick, trick handoff play there, picked up about six yards. Number 45, Jacob Bridges on the carry. 22 on tackle. Just very surprised to see Benita go for it 31. and fail yet again. They were definitely within field goal range, even in a high school game. It's a little bit surprising. Still just a one score game. And the snap made by number 56, Julian Moreno. Great blocking there. Great defense by Julian Moreno. Nothing there on the handoff. It'll be third down. Still where on the carry? Third and one from the San Diego's 31. Third and just one for San Dimas. They've easily got it there. First down, San Dimas. Good work by number carry. five. Number eight with the tackle. Play results of the first down, first and 10 for the Saints on row 33. Hand off there was to another young player named Dylan. Dylan Ware. One of the players to look for, according to the scouting report. O'Leary, the lefty, throws it. Complete. Not out of bounds yet, but they called it a dead ball. It's the number 31, Andre Zarate. Number seven, Dylan O'Leary's pass is complete to number 31, Andre Zarate. I'm not sure why they call that a dead ball. It looked like his, he must have touched the ground. He must have the ground. It looked pretty close to me. We got less than a minute left in the first tier. The score is 12 to eight. San Dimas is still up. We'll see if they can maintain that. Nothing there. Not doing that great so far. They can't get any momentum. Still aware on the carry. They had momentum at the beginning, but Bonita was able to shut them down. That's right. Third and one from the San Diego 42. Well, for the people who showed up just to watch a good football game, I'm sure that's what they're rooting for, just to see a good game. Don't want to see a blowout on either side. That's exactly what they're going to get. I love football season. I'm just, this is just totally getting me in the mood just to get going with all my teams again. Here's this a handoff. annual rivalry is a great start to the football season for both both cities, for both schools as well. Number six on the carry, Maldonado. A nice run there by Maldonado. First down. Picks up the first down. First attempt for the Saints. At the Saints 49. Seeing a lot of running plays so far from San Dimas. The end of the first quarter with your San Dimas Saints up 12 to eight. That's the first quarter, it's 12-8 San Dimas. Make sure you guys buy your 50-50 tickets. Yeah, the clock winds There's down and the teams there. are met by their coaches again. Ivis Aguilar for the Bonita team. He, this is his second repair. year for Team Bonita. He's hoping to do San better Davis than last season. Last season was not a good season, long long season for the Bonita long team. Long I'm sure you can hear this at home, but we are right above the marching band. They are extremely loud. I'm sure it's pretty It's pretty impressive. They sound great, but it makes it hard to call the game. Clayton's Brew House and Eatery, a gastro pub creating familiar yet unique. Mark Holman, the coach for the San Dimas the Saints. Regional handcrafted beer. So since it's the end of the quarter, not the end of the half, San Dimas will just pick up right where they left off. We want to give a shout Just out to into the San Dimas Cheer and Dance Squad. Territory. Start of the second quarter, it's 
Bonita currently ranking 618 in state, number 618, while San Dimas ranks 332, a substantial difference there. So coming into the game, San Dimas is favored to take the title once again, just like last year. They're definitely the favorite coming in. First and 10, San Dimas, start of the second quarter. O'Leary hands it off. Big pick Another up flag on the play. Number five, Dylan Ware with the carry. Dylan Ware with the run there. Blocking on Benita. We'll see whether or not they accept Calls the penalty. St. Nemes has two running backs, Dylan Ware and Noah Maldonado. Both are seniors. Both seem to be running the ball excellent so far. They're right next to each other in terms of their numbers. Ware is five, Maldonado number six. Some debate on the field once again over the call. They picked up the first down regardless. It's just whether or not the yardage of they would have gotten the penalty would be more. In that case, they would accept the penalty. If not, they would decline it in all likelihood. Let's see what the call is. Interesting to see how this will fall out. <laughs> so it was blocking on Benita. The penalty was accepted. The Saints are awarded the yards. They awarded some extra yards on the play. They are now down to the Benita 24-yard line. Hopefully First that's just what the Saints, Saints need to kick their Benita momentum in their favor. Here comes O'Leary. Talking to the coach for a second. O'Leary takes a snap. Looking to throw. Incomplete. And he throws long. You don't see a lot of left-handed quarterbacks. But O'Leary is one. I don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage. I was just going to ask what, what you thought on that. I think it's an advantage. I think you can really think throw, throw the other team off guard. I don't see how it could hurt. As long as, as long as you're a good player, I don't think it really makes a difference in football. Trying to wrap them in a fumble on the play. That's a live ball. San Dimas looks like they hopped on it. An unfortunate fumble by number six, Noah Maldonado, six, Noah the Maldonado. senior running back. San Dimas keeps the possession, though. It'll be third and long. <coughs> fumble recovered by number five, Dylan Wendt. Third and 13 from the Benita 27. Third and 13. I'd be surprised if they did not attempt the pass play on this. Yeah, and San Dimas coach Mark Holman really, really giving a lot of advice to Dylan O'Leary, trying to see if they can get the momentum in their favor. Here we go. Almost. Incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Intended for number five, Dylan Ware. Dylan Ware had his hands on that. The pass was just a little bit low. I think even if he catches it there, he's not going to get the first the down, though. Would have been tackled immediately. Fourth and 13 from the Benita 27. Let's see what uh, San Dimas decides to do here. Benita went for it on both fourth downs earlier and it did not work out in their favor either time. And once again, here at Citrus Community College, the score is 12 to eight. The San Dimas Saints are up. Maybe this is a new trend going for it on fourth down because this looks like exactly what San Dimas is choosing to do here. Number 31, 31 with the catch. Reception. Only picks up a couple. 
Nice hands by number 31, Andre Zarate. Senior for the San Dimas Saints. He had to see one field goal attempt yet in the game so far, and both extra point attempts have been missed. So you got to figure they're not confident in their kicking game. You've got to make that assumption. Am I crazy? But looks like Benita's got more cheerleaders than football players. They've got quite a squad out there. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. The, the numbers sure sure are close. Here's a handoff. Picks up Making the run seven. number five number for five Bonita. On the carry. That was a nine yard carry, second and one on the Bonita. Nine yard carry, second and one. Here's J.P. Andrade back for Benita, hands it off. No. A fake handoff. No, it was an actual handoff. It's like he got the first down. It was a fake, a fake throw. I thought it was a fake too at first. Regardless, the play works and they pick up the first down. There's a job well done. Hard to spot that there. Looks like they got third and one. They did not quite pick up the first down. Andrade takes a snap, hands it off again. They definitely got a first down there. Up to their own 36. Nice few yards there by number 34, Gypsy Medeiros. Senior for down. the Bonita Bearcats. First and 10 at the Bonita 36. First and 10, Benita. Andrade and throw. going deep. The Complete. catch. Number, Number 12, 12, Seth Broussard. Broussard. Sophomore quarterback with the catch. We've got Seth down here as a quarterback in our roster, but clearly he can catch the ball too. Well, he is a sophomore. So coach Ibis Aguilar could be, could be training him to play everywhere to be more versatile. That could help him out in the future years. First and ten, Benita. And the toss to number 34. Number 34, Medeiros on the carry. Medeiros picks up a few there. Top Just second and six. Dylan Ware. Second and six on 28. Benita goes up with a touchdown here. The throw to number oh. 27 just fumbled, Dropped. just out of his reach. He got his fingertips on it, but couldn't quite catch it. It's a little bit high, but I bet he wishes he could have pulled that down. A third and six here for Bonita. We'll see what Bonita tries to do. They've definitely been passing the ball a little more than San Dimas. Up, incomplete. And the toss just a little bit too high. JP Andrade's pass is incomplete, 10 to number 10. Tough Fourth break for Andrade there. And yet again, on fourth down, it looks like Benitez trying to go for it. Neither team has executed a fourth down play without turning the ball over yet this beep, evening. Bonita, beep, beep, Bonita, beep. See if Andrade can change that here. Takes a snap. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Sanding the ball yet again. Intended for number 21. Yeah, Bonita's passing game not faring too well in the in the second quarter here. They've they've had more success with their running plays here, so we'll see what their coach what their coach does to to change it. 
50-50 tickets are still on sale. Our volunteers are walking around. And, I mean, I realize that's a bit of a long field goal, but why not give it a try? I mean, seems like going for it on fourth down has not been working for either team so far. Both teams desperate to take home the Smudge Pot Trophy and paint it their own school colors. It's bragging rights plus a win. I'm not sure desperate's the word, more like determined. Second and five Definitely adds to the, the fire to want to win this game. Taking home that Smudge Pot Trophy. Can't imagine how many of these kids would know what a smudge pot is if it weren't for this game. I personally <laughs> didn't know going in either. Uh, if the go. Bonita Bearcats are able to take home the smudge pot, this will be their coach's Ibis Aguilar's first smudge pot win. That slant pass there works out for San Dimas. Dylan O'Leary's pass is complete to number 14, Dylan Sanchez. See if that's enough for a first down. It's like they're about a half that was a yard. Four yard drive. reception. Third. And one from the San Dimas 37. And the clock's winding down to just about seven minutes left here. Third and one at the San Dimas 37. They run the ball. Not, Not sure, sure they, they picked the up any yards down. there. Maybe a couple. It's like they're a little short. We'll see where they place it. Number six, Noah Maldonado on the carry. Fourth and one from the San Diego 37. Saying fourth and one. It's like they only got it back to the line of scrimmage there. Now we definitely got the football we atmosphere and that's the sun has gone down. Quarterback families. Thank so, you guys for support. I think clearly, based on the trend, we've yet to see a punt or a field goal. Surely they'll be going for it. They're bringing out the tape measure here to see. And as the clock is winding down here, coming up on halftime, the marching band and the color guard squad are preparing for their halftime show. And I'm sure they practice just as hard, just as much as the football teams as well to put on a good show for the students and the citizens of their respective cities. And they're just inches shy of the first down. Just, a, just about a foot. Rev Varsity, get your Letterman jacket. Sports apparel from Rev. Here comes O'Leary. Again, the stadium here holds here. maximum capacity of 10,000. I'd say, I'd say it looks pretty close to half full, Let's if not more. There could be more here, than 5,000 spectators here to watch this annual rivalry. Here we go, fourth and inches. As the clock's winding down to halftime, both student sections here turning on their cell phones' flashlights. Uh, looks like it's forward momentum got the first down, just barely. Just barely got it, but I'm going to say that they got the first down here. And yeah, not sure, not sure what the purpose there is for uh, turning on their flashlights if it's if it's friendly or if it's supposed to be distracting. But we've got a little flashlight here going. Flashlight shows with the fans on the Benita side. It's a little distracting, but I don't think it's anything too, too bad. And that along with the Smudge Pot Geo Filter on the Snapchat app. Here we go, first and 10 for San Dimas. O'Leary looking to throw, finds a wide. The pass open. to number five, Dylan Ware. Nice tackle. Down to the Benita 35 yard line. The senior picks up Dylan some nice yardage there. Five, Dylan, Dylan to Dylan. O Great Leary. job by San Dimas. Excellent field position here for San Dimas for the Saints. At the Bearcat 37. First 
5.55 to go here in the second quarter. O'Leary takes a snap, hands it off. Nice yardage there by number 15, Chima Mbargu. Second and three from the Bear Trap 30. 50-50 tickets are still on sale. Second and three now for San Dimas. O'Leary takes a snap. They hand it off. Number six, Noah Maldonado picks up some good yards. Number six, Noah Maldonado. After the lateral from number 15, Chima Mbarguru. Another first down. They're marching right down the field here. The Saints, the Saints are marching Tackled in. by number 10 on the play for the Bearcats. First and 10 for the Bonita 20. Relatively low scoring game for all the quality drives we're seeing on both sides here. Some missed opportunities on fourth downs. It is a low-scoring game thus far, but as you remember last year, San Dimas scored the majority of their points. They scored 28 points in the second half, so this game is still early. Picked up maybe four yards there on the run. On the carry, tackle by number 51, Lopez for the Bearcats. Second and seven from the Bearcats 17. It's second and seven here at the Bearcats 17. The snap. O'Leary the catch. The number three. First down. Oh, it's like he fumbled it, but he was already down. That will not be a fumble. That was a complete pass. He was already down by contact by the time he lost the ball. It was a great catch by number three. It was a little bit low, but he made it work. Dylan O'Leary's pass is complete to number three. And it is complete. They do earn those yards third there. Third and one. It is now third and one. Not quite a first down. Third and one. Big third down here for the Saints. Now be watching here for number 15. Mib Gargaru looking for the ball. Wide open. Number five. Number five, touchdown. Saints. Dylan Ware. Dylan Ware with San the Dimas Saints. Another touchdown here with three minutes to go. That makes it 18 to 8. San Dimas Dylan Saints. Dylan O'Leary's pass is complete to number five. But they Dylan had just Ware. a little bit of momentum there and they used it all up for that touchdown. And the kick again made by number 26, Aiden Phipps. Here we go. Third try for an extra point. This one's through the That's good. We've got our first good kick Aiden of the game. Extra point is Three good. to go left in the second quarter. Giving us a score with three minutes and six seconds left in the second quarter. Standing the Saints 19 and the Bonita Bearcats 8. Two possession game now. 19 to 9 Saints. 19 to 8, I'm sorry. Plenty of time for Benita to put something together here before the half comes to a close. And once again, we'd like to thank our Warehouse Pizza sponsor in Old Town Laverne. We'd like to thank them for providing the crew food for tonight's game. I'm Dylan Gronseth alongside here with TJ Sanchez. First game of the high school season here, August 26, 2017, the Smudge Pot playoff game. Once Good. again with the fake by San Dimas. Yes. But by this time, I'm sure they, they know it's coming. I don't think it's... It doesn't fool me anymore, that's for yeah. sure. I think it's almost 
kind of a delay a game sort of thing. But the refs are letting And get a kick away by number 26, Aiden Phipps. Kicks it about the five. Catch yard made. Line. Number 13, Michael Avila, made some good yards there. Phipps is kicked off to number 13, Avila. Tripped up by number 14, Dylan Sanchez. Giving the Bearcats a first and 10. And San Dimas Saints are up 19 to eight. So this could be a rerun of last year. The San Dimas Saints could take it this year once again. I think if Benita could put together a touchdown here, they'll be in pretty good territory. When the second half comes around, make a comeback. J.P. Andrade is sacked by number Andrade is 30, sacked. Stephen and number 33, Nick Sloan. Only loses a few, though. Second down. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Andrade throws a little high, incomplete. J.P. Andrade's pass is incomplete for 10 for number 12. Intended for Broussard. Broussard passes incomplete. That's some sort of a smoke coming out from the Sandina side here. I hope that's not real smoke. Certainly could be though. Yeah, at first I, I thought it was an e-cigarette, one of the one of those vape no, pens. It's not an e-cigarette. That's quite that's a lot. Far too much smoke. It smells kind of scented though. I don't know what that is. Benita runs it out to the sideline there. And San Dimas regretting their decision to let off all that smoke, trying to fan it away. It smells almost like a perfume. I don't know what that is. Maybe baby powder. Even. Yeah, baby powder kind of a smell. It's not anything to be concerned about, I don't think. Oh, it is just baby powder. It's not smoke. Fourth and 16 for the Bearcats. I don't know if that's some sort of a ritual or uh, see if it has any effect on the game. I don't think that it will. Just the smell of baby powder in the air. Here we go. Fourth down and 16. It's like we're seeing our first punt of the game, but there's a... A false start, possibly. Well, they stopped the game. There was no flag, though. The refs blew the whistle. I guess it was timeout. Looks like timeout, timeout Sandy Miss. Mark Holman calling the timeout. Let's go, Grandma! The modern so the other major high school in Laverne is Damien. But somewhat ironically, Damien is on the street, Benita. And Benita is not. That's right. It's a little bit confusing. Damien is also a powerhouse team. They've had some great teams throughout the years. Fun fact, Mark McGuire, famous MLB player, went to Benita back in the day. Played uh, Little League Baseball over in Claremont. And his brother was a professional football player, I believe, Dan McGuire. That's right. Played in the NFL for a while, that's right. Hometown heroes. Not a ton of famous people from this area, but those are two of the standouts for sure. And once again, the Bonita Bearcats in white taking on the San Dimas Saints in blue. It's a little Saints bit of a bad snap. Kicker recovers it. They're going to let it bounce out to about the 42-yard line there. So they were able to salvage that despite a bad snap. San Dimas will take over. down at the 43-yard line. First attempt to the Saints. So now that the smell of baby powder is dissipated from the atmosphere, don't have to worry about that anymore, hopefully. That's that's the first I've seen at a at a football game or or any outdoor game, yeah, squirting I've baby powder into the air. Here we go. 
Quick handoff. Number five, Dylan Ware on the carry. Dylan Ware picks up a lot on that, just runs right through the middle. Looks like we got an injured player. No, he's all right. I think he's getting right back up. 22 on Benita. And number 22, Matthew Sanchez. Second and He's up and moving now. Second and three. Clock's running out. We're down to less than a minute here in the second quarter. The snap. Wide and the catch. open. Number six, Noah number Maldonado. Six, Maldonado he breaks the going. tackle. We'll finally get him down around the 15-yard line. And Up the Benita. sack made by number 34, Gypsy Midieros. That's exactly the kind of play you need at this point of the half. Because you can't just pick up right where you left off at the half. you got to kick off. So it's score here, we get nothing. A score here really puts San Diego's ahead. Holding by the Saints. Each like, team trying uh, to make a move here, trying to gain some momentum. Looks like they're calling this back. It's like a hold on San Dimas. So that's, that was all for naught. They're gonna lose yards on the play instead of being in, within range of a touchdown here. Clock is running down here. I don't know what they're waiting for. Here comes O'Leary. 30 seconds to go. O'Leary doing a lot of back and forth with Coach, Coach Mark Holman. He's really been in his ear all night. A uh, fumble. Benita recovers. What a break for Benita. This gives him a chance to score once more before the first half will end. What a break. See if they can capitalize on this mistake First by the Saints. The at the San yard line. First and ten for the Bearcats at the San Dimas 35-yard line with 16 seconds left. 19 to 8. Your San Dimas Saints are up. It's like they've got some timeouts to work with here, so they should be able to run Time a few out plays. For the Taking yeah, one time out here. Looks like they got one to go. Once again, as the clock is winding down here, the marching band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders are getting ready to perform at the halftime. Got the halftime show coming up here. It's about a minute. Benita's just taking a timeout. I don't know why they took a timeout there because the clock had already stopped as a result of the turnover on downs. But I guess they want to get a play going Dave's here so they can work with. The clock will stop automatically on an incomplete pass, a running play. However, the clock will continue to run. They'll have to burn their last time out. Andrade ready to take the snap here on first down. Looking to throw. Incomplete pass. Incomplete. Bearcats number six. Pass was a little bit too high. He just couldn't get his fingers around it. Number four, Noah Coleman on the coverage. Ten seconds to go here. Touchdown. We'll put Benita within three, possibly two or five, depending on if they go for two. Each side desperately trying to gain some momentum before the half closes. Another incomplete. This time through just over number 24 for the Bearcats. One more try here for Benita on third and 10 from the 35 yard line. They're gonna have to get in the end zone here. For the third and 10, San Dimas 35 with four seconds left. It's like they're taking their last time out here, Benita. You guys chance to win this 50 50 right now, so make sure you guys buy your 50 50 tickets. Sponsor, Coming up on halftime here as the cheerleaders are getting ready. They're doing a great job tonight, keeping the energy up for the crowd. There's quite a crowd on hand tonight for the Smart Spot game 2017. Football season has officially begun. It's in the air. It's not quite fall. It's definitely still summer here in Southern California. 
football just makes it feel like fall automatically. That's right. There's something about it. Last try here for the Bearcats. And once Valeria again, you're watching LVTV and Laverne and K-West and San Dimas. Tries a quick pass to the side. That didn't work. Clock Along expires. With Dylan Grunseth. There'll be no fourth down the try here. Sound. Half down. San Dimas Saints happy with that half. Satisfied with their 19 to 8 lead. Still anybody's game. A lot of football left. Now, once again, it was a second half game for San Dimas last year. That's when they that's when they were able to run away from Bonita and take it. We'll see if they do it again this year. We want to give a shout out to San Dimas' new principal, Joe McDonald.
got people throwing footballs out here. Staff members come around so that you can catch one of these fantastic little tiny footballs. Which staff member has the strongest arm? We want to see that. That was your Sandy Miss High School marching band. Congratulations, guys. Welcome back to Glendora, California. We're here at Citrus College for the Smudge Pot 2017 rivalry game between the San Dimas Saints and the Benita Bearcats. Score going in the second half, 19 to eight San Dimas. You're watching LVTV in Laverne and KWST in San Dimas. I'm Dylan Gronseth with CJ San TJ Sanchez, sorry TJ. That's all right. Go like a little you bit said. more into the, the history. This is the 45th annual Smudge Pot game. The Smudge Pot game started back in 1972 when the mayor of San Dimas and the mayor of Laverne decided to have a, a hometown rivalry, something that not only the, the hometown schools but also the residents of the cities could enjoy. Uh, the game has been held here in Glendora, California at Citrus College since 2011. Uh, the, the stadium here holds up to 10,000. And since 2011, the numbers have been up five, six, seven thousand spectators. There are a lot of people that come to this game: students, staff, friends, family, even just citizens of the cities. Uh, they love it. It's a it's a great rivalry for both sides. It's a great competition. It's a great way to just get the momentum going for the season. It's the first game of the season. It's not going to count as a as a league game because these teams are in two different divisions. That's right. So the, San Dimas, the San Dimas Saints play in the Valley Vista League. And Benitez and Palomares. Benitez, the underdog, coming in. And they're trailing at the half. Yeah, San By Dimas. 11 points, but they're still in it. San Dimas took the it. title, took the trophy last year. The trophy is a smudge pod replica. A smudge pod is a device that was used to heat up the citrus plants and trees in the wintertime so they wouldn't frost over and die. It's a, it's a tradition for the, uh, the surrounding citrus. And the winner of this game gets to take home that Smudge Pot trophy and paint it their own school colors. And they get to brag about it. That's right. They're friends and family. That's Probably right, Bonita took it. Life. Bonita took it three years in a row. Bonita took home the trophy in 2013, 14, and 15. San Dimas came back and took it last year in 2016. That could be attributed to the Bonita High School's coach, Ibis Aguilar. Uh, the Bonita Bearcats did not have a good season last year. They went 0-6 and in league. That's right, they didn't win one league game, but I'd say despite being the underdogs, they're playing pretty well. They've missed several fourth down tries. That's hurt them significantly. No team has gone for a field goal yet. I think that's worth mentioning. Yeah, both sides both sides are relying on their momentum. As soon as they get momentum, they run with it, and usually it works for them. Momentum comes from you know the players going back and forth to the coaches, figuring out a game plan. Also from the crowd here. The student sections are wild here. There's a sea of white and a sea of blue cheering on their prospective home teams. And a great start to the half by San Dimas. Snap. 
And off, some Dylan great Ware. yardage by number five, Dylan Ware, senior for the San Dimas Saints. That's correct. About to get going here again. Sandim is looking for some momentum, as we've mentioned. Good catch by number six, Noah Maldonado, number the seven, senior. Dylan O'Leary with the pass number six. Daniel seven, Lopez playing the finishing touch on him. Make sure he was down. That was a clean play. Not a late hit because he wasn't officially down. His knees had not touched yet. That was some great offense and some great defense as well. I think this, this second half is already shaping up to be a good one. It's only 12-minute periods here. Quarters, rather. So I think if Sandima scores here, it's going to be really tough for Benita to come back. Once what with again. all the time you can kill in a football game. Once again, number seven, Dylan O'Leary coming back from talking to the coach, Mark Hallman. Doing a lot of back and forth with the coach, coming up with game plans and plays. Third and 45, good yardage. Jacob Richards, senior. First down, San Dimas. San Dimas' running game has been pretty untouchable so far. It's allowed them to get a lot of first downs. Seems like every drive they push it into Benita's territory. O'Leary looking to throw. Toss. Wide open Almost dropped. caught by number three. San Dimas had a hand on it. Couldn't quite catch it. We'll try again now in second and 10. Missed opportunity there by the Saints. We need a defense doing a good job here, preventing any momentum. So Leary coming out of the huddle. Flag on the play. It's like a false start on the offense. False start on the Saints. It's going to push him back five yards. He'll try again on second down. Cadillac that's parked in front of the band trailer. We need you to move your Cadillac. Please. Second and 15. We got second loud here. And here. Number seven, Dylan O'Leary, and number 14, Dylan Sanchez, coming back from a pep talk with their coach, Mark Hallman. Let's see if it pans out. Deafening roar from the crowd. Dylan O'Leary, nothing there. Incomplete pass. In third Incomplete to number five, Dylan Ware. Intended for number five, Dylan Ware. Third and 15 from the San Dimas 45. San had some good yardage with their passing early on in the first quarter, but I don't think it's going to pan out for the rest of the game. I think for either side to advance, they've got to work on their running game. As with now, number three. Here we go with a run. Nothing there. Be fourth and long. San Damas will Sebastian likely punt. Street on the carry, tackled by number 10 for the Bearcats. A good punt here can really trap Benita in their own territory. I don't At the Benita, imagine they'll go for it. Looks like they're going to punt it. Only the second punt in the game so far for either team.
Snap to number 14, Dylan Sanchez with the punt. Nearly blocked. He might have got a piece of that. And they let it roll out. Going to set it about the 13-yard line of Benita. He'll take over. Ball down at the San Dimas 18-yard line. I think he might have gotten a piece of that. It still ended up being a pretty good kick regardless. In that situation, if the ball hits the ground, you're not necessarily going to try to to catch it because the second you make contact, that's a live ball. You've got to actually secure the ball. That's right. That's that was kind a of smart move. Smart move by, by either side. It's risky. You've got to be very confident that you can just scoop that ball up because we did see a few turnovers earlier in the game on kicks just like that. And Bonita now on offense here. The pass. It's a little handoff there. Nice pickup. Nice yardage by number five. Number five, Ivan Wilson Bain. Ivan carry. Wilson, number five. Nice yardage with the carry there. Second and eight. Second and two, correction. Second and two now for Benita. O'Leary takes a snap. Complete to 24. JP First down. That was a great pass to number 24. Great Tackle look. By number four, Noah Coleman. And number 20, Matt Sloan. Bonita looking for some yardage here. Oh, fumbled on the fumble. Little lateral pass there. It didn't work out. From JP Andrado to number 34, number 34, Gypsy Medeiros. Incomplete there. Benita is able to save the turnover, though. The minute you throw the ball backwards, Second it's a live ball if you drop it. For anything Benita forward 23. is an incomplete pass or at the line of scrimmage. Second and long. And the toss. Oh, that was Just definitely high. pass interference on, the play. on San Dimas. Number three does not like the call, but he'll have to live with it. Flag on the play. Possible it could be holding. Well, it was holding, but it, in the, in a, on a pass, that would definitely be probably pass interference. It's basically the same difference, so holding, pass interference. It's just if it's away from pass the ball, interference on the Saints. it's more likely to be called holding. That's right. It is determined pass interference. The Bonita Bearcats gain some yardage Big there. Big break for the Bearcats there. Fake pass on a handoff. Number five picks up big yardage. Great job on number five, Ivan number Wilson. Number five, Ivan Wilson Bay with the carry resulting in a first down. Found a small the channel there and he went for it and he made it work. Benita's still got number a ways 20, to go Matt though. Number 20, Matt Sloan on the tackle. First and 10 at the San Dimas 37. On the San Dimas 47 here. Flag on the play, another false start on the offense. It's about Flag the on the play, illegal false start on the Bearcats. Back in their own territory. First and 15 from the Benita 47. Just under seven minutes left here in the third quarter. The score is 19 to eight. The San Dimas Saints are up over the Bonita Bearcats here at the 45th annual Smudge Pot Match. Number two, forced to try to, to gain it. some yards there. JP Andrade. Andrade, they want a fumble, but it looks like he was down already. We'll see what they call. They're Number calling four. it a fumble. San Dimas, drop four and blue, Noah Saints. Coleman. First down, San Happy with that call. Well, you can't review it. It's not the NFL. You can't go to the videotape. It is what it is. You're going to have to live with the call. I was thinking he was down, but it's it's kind of hard to see from up here. First and ten for the Saints. Down there on the turf. At the San Dimas 49-yard line. That's a big 
Big turnover. San Dimas has got to make something of it, though. And once again, number seven, Dylan O'Leary. Quick huddle before the before they go out. Dylan O'Leary is looking very impressive out there. Both quarterbacks are just juniors. Handoff picks up about two. Respectable yarders there by number, number 40. 40. Zach Goodrich on the carry. Zach Second Goodrich. and eight. Senior. On the Bonita 49. You'll have to bear with us. We're dealing with kind of incomplete rosters here. We have to be totally honest with you. These rosters are in front of us. They're missing a few players. So if we just call out the numbers, it's nothing personal against anybody. Here we go. San Dimas High School football rules. For those of you who don't know, that's a reference to Bill and Ted's excellent adventure with Keanu Reeves. It's a line from the movie. It's a classic movie from that's the 80s. That's pretty creative there. Incomplete pass by O'Leary. Did you know that? Low. Dylan O'Leary's pass that line is incomplete from intended for number five, Dylan Ware. From Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Third have you ever seen that movie? I have not, no. Okay, well, that's that's what that – it's like the, the quarterback is, San Diego's High School Football rules. <laughs> it became like a famous line. So I think that's, what the, that, that's definitely what they're quoting there, whether they know it or not. These kids are pretty young. Pretty creative with their cheers. Well before their time. And five minutes and 40 seconds left. Third and eight here for San Dimas. Number 45, Jacob Richards on the carry. Number Jacob 45. Richards picks up, picks up a few there. Jacob Richards on the carry. San Dimas is looking at fourth and four here. Definitely not in field goal range. They're going to have to punt. Although I wouldn't have been surprised if they'd gone for it because that, that's clearly been the trend so far. Very kick short kick. 14. Bounces once and goes out of bounds. About the 24-yard line. And the ball is now at the Bonita 23-yard line. Your chance for 50-50 is running out. Fire ticket as soon as you can. And it's cooled Nobody off quite a bit here, here in the second half. It's cooled off quite a bit here in Glendora. Down to about 78 degrees here. Cool breeze going. Nice summer night. Nice summer weather here. It's a great way to kick off the high school football season. I'll say. It's a handoff. Fake throw there. He does the fake throw after the handoff. Number five. I don't know who that's fooling, but I've seen a lot of quarterbacks do that move. Looks to be a bit unsuccessful. Second and 10 for the Bearcats. Second and 11 correction at the Benita 22. Andrade takes a snap on second 11. Long snap, received. Complete. First down and more for Benita. Back up to almost midfield. Great job there by number seven. Tackle by number four, Noah Coleman. Play resulting in a first down, first and 10, 45 yard line. Bonita's going with it, Bonita's trying to use that momentum in their favor. Oh, Andrade almost, almost sacked. sacked, but he completes the pass. Unbelievable. Wow. You don't see that in the NFL rarely. So that was a very, very heads up play, especially at the high school level. That was great reaction time, great patience there. That's why he's a star player. They're calling a penalty on San Dimas here. So this must be kind of a high school rule where they add the penalty on to where they've already got the yardage because normally in the NFL, 
or whatever, you'd have to decide if you accept the penalty or you take the play. It looks That's like right. they get, they're getting both here. The rules are constantly changing in the in the different leagues here. Yeah, high school's got all its own intricate rules. Bonita playing in the Palomares League. Sandimas playing in the Valley Vista League. Number eight with the Hand carry. Off. Nothing there. Andrew carry Flores. Number eight for the Bearcats. Flores. Maybe picked up a yard. Well, it's going to be second, second and nine. He did pick up a yard. Clock's winding down here. Three minutes and 18 seconds left. No score yet from either side here in the second half. Benita's threatening, though. Andrade takes a snap. A long Going toss. Deep, looking for the end zone. Just over number seven's Team head here. Andrade's pass is incomplete, intended for number seven. Chima and Guru on the coverage. Now both of these student sections are still going strong. I don't think they've sat down all game. They're doing a great job trying to keep their football players, keep their fellow students hyped up and full of energy for the game on the field there. Big Which third nine here, wide open. Oh, and he flag throws on the it play. over his head, but we got a flag on the play. Number four, Noah Coleman questioning that flag. I think Andrade just got a little nervous there and over, overthrew it a little bit. Get a wide open receiver. It might be a hold. Possibly on Benita. That what that would explain why that receiver was so wide open. We're watching some great coaching strategies here from the Bearcats, Ibis Aguilar, and the Saints, Mark Hallman. They're both doing very, very well in terms of defense and offense. It's a very well matched half this half. These teams are definitely well matched. Looks like that penalty was on Benita, and San Dimas declined the penalty. That means it'll be fourth and nine. We'll see what they decide to do fourth here. Nine for the at the I think they got to go for it. <coughs> got to make this a one possession game at this point. Third quarter is winding down. And the crowd's here just, just incredibly loud. It's extremely loud. Here we go. Number He's looking the pass. deep. Andrade. Oh. Number 12. Seth Broussard. They did not throw the flag. Jumped a little bit too early there. Great defense by number 25, Damian Diaz. I, he definitely defended him, but it looked like it looked like pass interference from where I was sitting. Very, Looks very like close there. Looks like he impeded there. his ability to catch the ball there before he made contact. That's, right. That's pass interference, but they didn't call it, so it's a turnover on downs. That happens sometimes. You know, you can't live and die by the officiating. You gotta, you gotta roll with the punches sometimes. And going in for the Saints, Dylan O'Leary, number seven, and number fourteen, Dylan Sanchez. Up, oh, fucking like offsides there, and Benita. Double flag on the play or there. Or possibly a false start. The officials are on the same page with that call. False start, Sandy Miss. Loss of five yards. First and 15. And once again, we'd like to thank Warehouse Pizza and Old Town Laverne for providing the crew food for tonight's game. For quality pizzas there at Warehouse. Clock's winding down here, 2.45 to go. The Saints, 19. The Bearcats, 8. Another flag on the play. We've got a delay of game on the Saints. Now both sides here looking for any opportunity to gain yards, any opportunity to push forward, get closer and closer to that end zone. 
running play up the gut, picks up a couple. Number five, Saints are kind of playing Carrier. conservative here. They've got they've got the lead. So we had three touchdowns in the first half. The two-point conversion from Benita gave them eight. Two missed extra point opportunities from San Dimas, plus another one with a made extra point. Looks like we got a hurt player on the field here. Looks like he's back up though. Nothing too serious. He's walking off by himself. He's actually jogging off. So that's good. Great job by the trainers there, making sure he's okay. Don't want to see anybody hurt on the first game of the year, or, or at all, frankly. But, you know, it's football. It's not, uh, you know, golf. In a competitive sport <laughs> like this, right, you never know. Two thirty-one left. Nineteen to eight. San Dimas Saints over the Benita Bearcats. We're here at the 2017 Sludge Pot Game, Glendora, California. Some Hand great yardage right by number side. three. Not much there. Sebastian Street. Sebastian Street. Tackled by number ten of the Bearcats. Coming in on two minutes to go here, the third quarter. It's been sort of a defensive battle thus far. Both teams Second playing half. a great game of football here, great game to start off the season. Fans are looking for a touchdown. The pass to number 15. Going. That's a loss. Mib Gargaru. This will bring up fourth down. Surely they'll be punting away. Fourth and 11. It's like an official's timeout here. We've got number 40 white on the wrong side there. Trainers running over there to. I'm not sure. It looked like an official's timeout because timeout's not being charged either side, at least on the scoreboard. It's like fourth and long for the Saints. Scoring back, back up at the line. Good Let's run here, we'll put him in. Pretty sweet field position. Let's see if they can make something happen. Low kick, takes a hop. Received by number 23, Victor Sepulveda. Nice pick up there. Decent yards. Pumped by number 14, Dylan Sanchez. To number 23, the Bearcats. And the tackle, number 14, First blue, Dylan Dino. Sanchez. Dylan Sanchez, they got three guys named Dylan. And they are quite a trio. They're having a pretty good game here. They're, they're looking to have a pretty good season together. San Dimas finished second, tied for second in their division last year. So they're looking to do even better this year. Yeah, their last championship in league, the last time they won league was back in 2013. 2013, not too long ago. Yeah, both these teams have been training very hard all summer, just six miles apart from each other. Uh, they got to start training in the, the dead heat of August. That's right. It's pretty brutal. Attempting to take home the Smudge Pot trophy. It's all for the Smudge Pot. A drop pass. Like that could have been a fumble. Oh, it looked like it was a five, 
behind the line of scrimmage. It's a good thing he recovered it. Ivan Wilson on the play. Second and 15 from the 42-yard line. Time's running out here in the third period. 50 seconds to go. And both teams looking for something to build off of, looking for something they can use to make something happen here. Here's Andrade. The pass Wide to number open. five, Ivan Wilson. Looks like he picked up the first down there. See if Benita can get a touchdown in third before the third period closes. Yeah, we're third and two here at the San Dimas 29 with 30 seconds to go in the third period. Once again, we're coming to you from the Citrus Community College Football Stadium. Home of the Owls. That's right, Fighting Owls. That's right. Currently hosting probably close to 6,000 spectators at this 45th annual Smudgepot game. That's a pretty good estimation, I would say. That's pretty close. Andrade hands it off. Nothing there. Lost him one, maybe one, two. Flag after the play. Flag after the play. What what could that be for? Over, over celebrating. Could be a late hit, taunting, something like that. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike conduct. We'll see what the we'll officials see. determine. With one second left in the third. It's a personal foul. Looks like. We got one second on the clock here. So it looks like Benito will fire off one more play before we head to the fourth. Thanks to the penalty, though, they're within the 20-yard line. Looks like they're about the 16 of San Dimas. Sitting pretty. They could easily get a touchdown here. A completed pass. That could turn around the game. The end of the third quarter. Uh, the buzzer rings. End third of the quarter third quarter is over. Never mind. The score is Bonita Bearcats 8, San Dimas Saints 19. Once again, this is a great first game for the season. Great first game for both teams here. Good way to kick off the season here at the 45th annual Smudge Pot game in Glendora, California. So Benita is able to get a touchdown here. It goes for two again. They will be within a field goal away. So it is a close game. Anything can happen at this point. Now, once again, you're watching LVTV in Laverne and K West in San Dimas. I'm TJ Sanchez along with Dylan Granza. Got 12 minutes to go here. One more period. Still anybody's ball game. Lots of white in the crowd supporting the, the white color of the Bonita High School. Bonita, the green and white, there. San Dimas, wearing the blue and white. You're just joining us. 19 to 8, San Dimas. Both teams have alliteration. San Dimas Saints, Benita Bearcats. So That's right. They got that going for them. Really getting the fans fired up here. I'm sure you can hear that bleeding into our mics. We're not soundproof here. Just kind of sitting out basically in the stands. Here we go, Andrade takes the start takes of the snap. fourth. Looking to throw. Number two, J.P. Andrado uh, to number 24. Incomplete. J.P. Andrade pass incomplete, number 24. Be second and 10, Benita. Number 24, second frustrated with that outcome there. I think if Benita does not score here, it's going to be tough. They're going to have to get a turnover or something because there's just not a lot of time in these high school periods. Oh, Andrade. Sacked Great by defense 31. by number 31. San Dimas blindsided. Andre Zarati. Great defense by San Dimas Saints. 
Offense and defense, this guy can do it all. Now we're at the San Dimas 20 here. Third and 16th. I feel like if they don't get the first down here and pick up some yards, they gotta kick a field goal. They gotta get some points. It could hurt. They can't just get nothing here if they wanna win. Number two throws. Here you go. It's so number six received. Gained some yardage there right at the 40, the 35. Well, this is exactly the scenario that I presented, and we'll see what they do here. This is definitely just a little chip shot field goal. Gets them within eight. Technically, that's one score with a two point. We'll Great opening there here. made by number six. Yeah, like you said, that is exactly what the Bearcats need at this yeah. point. Looks like they are going to kick it. They've gained some momentum here. Let's see if they can keep it going. Very close to the end zone there. Number 26, Aiden Phipps. It's a little 25-yard chip shot. Oh, he barely gets it Just off. Just short. Does not even reach the uprights. Short and I don't think that kick was blocked. He just, he just muffed it. Field goal is no good. He just I'm not sure it. what happened there. Could have been a bad, a bad receiving issue there. Well, now I understand why they weren't confident in the kicking game so far. There's been one made extra point from both sides so far. That's, that's really costly. Yeah, not only does that not help them on the scoreboard, but it also kills their momentum, the morale. It looked like he just kind of got a little nervous there, That's like right. he was going for it, and he kind of second, like he thought he was going to get blocked. I don't know exactly what happened there. Cause I don't think. Do you think he actually made First contact? I don't think it was blocked. He made a little bit of contact. You, th you think it was tipped? It was the the that the kick was blocked. I don't think I don't the ball think it was, was firmly planted on the ground. Let's see if San Diemas can capitalize on that turnover on downs. Playing with a lot of energy there. Great job by number 40, Zach Goodrich for the carry. Picked up eight yards there, second and two for San Dimas. San Dimas trying to eat some clock here on this drive for sure. It's within their interest to run the ball. This incomplete pass will stop the clock automatically. And San Dimas not only holding the game here, trying to advance as well. They are up 19 to eight so far, trying to reclaim that Smudge Pot Trophy that they won last year, take it home and paint it their gold and blue colors. Dylan Ware picks up the first down for the Saints. The clock is certainly winding down here. Clock does stop on a first down in high school though, so it's 9.32, or never mind. The clock did stop temporarily, but now it's running. Benita is really in trouble here. It's far from over. I'm not sure if, if Bonita can't stop him in the tracks, then Dimas might go all the way here. They've got to stop him on this possession or get a turnover. Absolutely. Saints getting ready there. Try to gain some yards. Eight. Saints with the 11-point lead, 8.30 to go. The Saints still fourth quarter. They're coming out with a lot of energy here. Here we go. Number five breaks number five, a series he's still of tackles. Going. Great yardage by number up. five, Dylan Ware. Dylan Ware. And a great tackle by number 13, Michael Avila. He's got to have the most yardage of the game. I would say. We've got the result of the 50 50. And the San Dimas student section here yeah, cheering, I team believe team that we will win. They believe that they will win. It's certainly a possibility. Certainly within the realm of possibility.
lining up here. Lots of movement. Looks like they gained some yards there. Ran it up the gut, picked up about seven for San Dimas. Clock continues to run. Benita saving their timeouts, apparently. Yeah, San Dimas is doing a good job with their with their running plays so far. They get some get some coverage, get some yards on the running plays, and then they go long on the pass. Uh, their running game has been great so far. Yeah. Of course, you got to give a lot of credit to the linemen there. Absolutely. For making for creating space. Number 45 going 45 for it. Takes it for the first down. San Dimas just marching down the field. Great yardage by Jacob Richards, senior for the Saints. They've yet to score, but they've also prevented Benita from scoring, and as a result, they're First definitely the sitting in the catbird seat, the as they say. Seven minutes to go, up 11. Number seven, Dylan O'Leary giving his team a pep talk. O'Leary, the lefty. Lefty quarterback. Dumps it out to their left. Just high, Incomplete. right over number four, Dylan Noah Coleman's head. Yeah, I think he can attribute that to just the solid defense on the Bearcats there. Just threw him off. That was a clean play, no interference there. O'Leary takes a snap, hands it off again. Nothing there, back up to the line of scrimmage. Be third and 10, San Dimas. Now normally high school games are played on Fridays, right? That's right, yeah. So maybe it has something to do with like Citrus is in session now. So maybe Could it be. interferes with them being in Could school, be. I don't know. Maybe it's just Still. a tradition. Both teams having a lot of energy here in the fourth quarter. Pretty impressive. I, this is what they trained for. They've been training all summer long, as we mentioned earlier. This is what they trained for, you know. 16, 17-year-old kids, they better have a lot of energy. <laughs> Only a few sophomores on the field. Most everyone, junior, senior veterans, know what they're doing, been doing it for a long time. They're veterans, but they're still just kids, you know. That's right. <laughs> False start again. They've had a problem with that so far. Six minutes left here. Six to go. Third and 14. They're eating up a lot of clock on this drive, San Diego Saints. Bearcat, line. Running out of time to make something happen. They got third and long coming up. Third and 14, to be exact. O'Leary's taking a snap out of the... Looking to throw. Good hands. Will it be good? Complete to number five. He'll be short of the first Dylan down. Dylan, Dylan Ware. Ware. Good hands there. Sorry, Noah Maldonado. Quick number reaction six. time. We'll see what San Dimas tries to do here. Fourth and five. San Dimas, if you're a betting man, are they going to run this one? Are they going to go for a pass? If I was betting on it, it seems like they're going to go for it. Because a field goal doesn't necessarily ice it. It's still a two possession game. So, and they've just been going for it all night. A wise prediction, I would agree. Speaking of betting, who would you be betting on in the fight tonight? Mayweather or the, the Irish guy? I, I, don't think know, I don't know enough about that. I'm, I'm going with the boxer on that one, not the MMA guy. <laughs> for sake of sport, I call the Irish guy. Oh, you're going with the Irish guy? We'll see. He is a lot younger. Connor McGregor is his name. Yeah. That's right. Just Timeout on the Saints that. here. Now, once again, I'm TJ Sanchez alongside I'm Dylan Gronseth. You're watching LVTV in Laverne, K West, and San Dimas. We'd like to thank Warehouse Pizza and Old Town Laverne for providing the crew here with food for tonight's game. It's been a good time so far. This is TJ and I's first game announcing. That's right. We're having a good time. Out here in Glendora. 
late summer. And the San Dimas crowd here now throwing baby powder and even colored powder up into the air. They're releasing powders into the air, some sort of ritual, and clearly it's working because they're up 11. So there must be some sort of superstition of that that we're not aware of. I don't know. Could be. Streamers now, too. Throwing streamers into the cheerleaders. Pulling out all the stops for this first game of the season. Could this be an early celebration on their side? I think it may be. Fourth and five. San Dimas gets this. It's pretty much over. Benita does have all its timeouts, though. On the Bonita 25 yard line here. Five and a half minutes to go. It would take something pretty impressive for Bonita to come back at this point. And I'm not ruling it out. Well, they're definitely going to need an onside kick. I would say they're in that sort of a territory right now if they do get a score. And that's one of the hardest things in football to get. For those who don't know, an onside kick is basically you have to kick the ball 10 yards and it's usually on the ground. And if it hits off the other player and you receive it, it's like a fumble. And at the end of the game, sometimes they need that. Here's a handoff. It's going to be short of the first down, well short to Dylan Ware. Benita's going to get another shot. Yeah, Ware there, hoping for a little bit more yardage. Didn't quite get it. I don't know if I like that strategy. I think you, I think you punt it. You try to pin them back about deep in their own territory. But you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's right. <laughs> San Dimas with an 11-point lead because they can spare a few mistakes like that. They can hold them on this possession. It's going to be nearly impossible for Benita now to come back here. O'Leary. Throw by number two, J.P. Andrade, Andrade to number 24. 24. J.P. Andrade's pass is incomplete. He's second and 10. Five and a half to go in the ball game. On Friday, takes a snap, a flag, flag on, the, on play. the play. Yet another false start, this time against Benita. That'll push him back five yards. It's a pretty yeah, costly 21, penalty. Govan Wyke. It's just five yards, but in football, Govan that Wyke can be a ready lot. to move up those five yards immediately. From the they get to retry the down, though. Andrade. Passes incomplete. Just short. Number three for the Bearcats just misses it. Has a hand on it. It is not enough. That was a tough pass to catch, though. We've been quite... Quite a catch if he had pulled that one out. Yeah, good defense there by number 15, Chima Mibgargaru. Third and long for Benita. They're going for it once again. Andrade going deep, a little too far. Just over number 12's head. Andrade threw for over 2,000 yards last year as a sophomore. He's had a pretty good game so far. 2,000 yards. That's that's 20 football fields, isn't it? That's a lot. That's a lot of yards for a sophomore. I don't believe that they're actually going to punt here. I mean, of all the times to go for it on fourth down, you would think this would be the time. Right. Time running out. Let's see if they do a fake punt here.
That's a great analysis there. Let's see how it pans out. Uh, the snap is long. snap. Barely gets it he off. Punts it. Bounces around. Lands just over the 50 there. I guess they just felt, you know, 15 yards. That wasn't likely that they, if they, if they turned it over on downs there, it was generally over. So. That's right. There's At five now. minutes left. Bonita feeling the pressure here. They're going to have to get a quick turnover, a quick stop, use up some of their timeouts. If Bonita is not able to turn this game around in these next five minutes, this will be the second year in a row that they have lost the Smudge Pot game. But the good news for Bonita, it's a non-conference game, which means it won't count towards their division That's record. Correct. They'll get a fresh start going into Palomar's league play. It's not a practice game, it still counts. And obviously the, the trophy is at stake and the bragging rights and all that. And a great job there. Number six, Noah Malinato on the carry. No surprise here that they're sticking Number with the running game. For the Bearcats, the clock. Andrew Flores on that tackle there. Benita uses its first timeout. I'm sorry, it looks S like they have a slight injury on, the, on the field there. But he seems to be fine. Number 10, jogging it off, Stops going back the to the sideline. Now we're second and eight for the Saints, 4.45 left. Clock's winding down now, fourth quarter. Number five, Blue, Dylan Ware, taunting the Bearcats there, getting confident. Was he taunting them a little bit? He was pointing at him. Mm. Dylan O'Leary, man the who carry. I share a name with. Number six, Noah Maldonado. Noah Maldonado tries to stay in bounds, can't quite Number do it. Six, Made some good yards there. First down, clock stops at 4.13. Yeah, it would take a miracle for the Bearcats to come back at this point, folks. They're gonna need a turnover or a quick stop. Even so, it's not looking like it's a long shot, yeah. Benita with just one touchdown in the first half. Two point conversion gave him eight points. So Nemus had two touchdowns, plus one extra one with a, a made extra point. The first two of the extra points were missed. That's why they have kind of an odd football score of 19. Yeah, San Dimas took the Smudge Pot Trophy home last year with a 42 to 14 win over the Bearcats. So now like they can, you know, looks like they may do it again this freeze. year. <laughs> it's not an actual working Smudge Pot, though, is it? No, it is not. That'd be cool if it was. Dylan O'Leary. Excellent game so far for San Dimas. Hands it off up the middle. Nothing there. The third and eight. Number 40, Zach Goodrich with the carry. And a flag on the play once again. Late flag. There's a flag on the play. Could have been that, that late contact there by number 45 blue and 22 white and 22 white Matthew Sanchez not sure what they called there we'll see what, what the 45 call 45 blue Jacob Richards the flag right was thrown well was after there. the play was over it was a, a pretty neutral shove right as the play was ending there wow and the Saints gained some yards Saints picked up about 15 yards there. This could have been a late hit or unsportsmanlike conduct. We're too far away to, to actually hear what it was repeated over the loudspeaker. O'Leary hands it off. It's a fumble. Great defense. Number 72 white. That's exactly white. what Benita needed. A great sack there. Number 40, Zach Goodrich on the carry. Sure I looked hope like a there's fumble. no injuries on the field there. I don't know what everyone's these referees getting are up. waiting for. Looks oh, like everyone's Demas okay. Recovered. 
Sure looked like Benita recovered from here. Oh, that would have. That was maybe Benita's last chance there. I, I would agree there. The fumble recover was fumble. recovered by the Saints there. If, if the Bearcats had re recovered that fumble, they may have been able to put a couple more points on the board. I don't know why they're saving their timeouts. Clock's running out. They've yet to use one timeout. Benita has. Handoff to number three. He's still going. Running down the right side. All the way down. It's down at the 15-yard line, Sebastian Street. That was a very, very slim channel that he found there, but he found it. He managed to slip through. He's a speedy guy. Speedy little guy. The clock continues to run. Benita not using the timeouts. I guess they're saving it for a possible possession here. Still running. Here Down we go. To the 10. Same play to the other side. Almost to the five yard line. Street picks a great up the first carry down. by number five blue, Dylan Ware. Was that Dylan Ware? <laughs> oh, okay. Dylan Ware. Okay, so now Benita will be forced to use up the timeouts if San Dimas does not score here. The Bearcats and the Saints lining up once again. The 45th not annual Smudge Pot game coming to an end here, winding down. Just over a minute left of play. Benita is basically throwing in the white flag, I feel, by not using the timeouts. They've That's admitted right. defeat to a certain extent. Dylan Ware again with the carry, gained some yards there, almost about five yards there. Tackle by number five, the Tackle by number five sorry, number nine for the Bearcats. Finally, Bonita uses a timeout. Bonita uses a timeout with 48 seconds left. I'm assuming Bonita used the timeout. That's correct. Okay, yeah, they did. Yeah, both student sections here still standing. Both cheering sections standing there, getting ready for the final moments of this game. They need a, a bit more subdued, obviously. This looks like their team is about to lose this 2017 smudge pot. It's been a good game, though. What do you think went wrong? Why, why don't you think the Bonita Bearcats were able to get more points on the board? I just, they didn't have anything in the second half. They weren't, neither team was able to score. I just don't think their passing seemed a little off to me. I think if the passing was a little more accurate, they weren't getting much out of their running game either. That's right. And they just weren't able to stop San Dimas' running game. That's right. San Dimas, San Dimas, I feel, came out with a little bit more energy in the fourth, in the second half, excuse me. They look like a little bit of a better team to be, just completely honest with you. And they were the favorites coming in Absolutely. last year. Benita really struggled last year, did not win one league game. So let's Hoping see if the Bonita Bearcats can hold them, prevent any further scoring with 48 seconds left. Second and goal from the two. From the two. We'll see what happens here. Second and goal from the two. Runs it out to the right side, nothing there. Sebastian Street, Sebastian Street actually lost some yards there for the Saints. Looks like another timeout. So basically, Benita would have to get a, this is what would have to, have to happen if Benita were to win this game. There'd have to be a turnover, they would have to run it back for a touchdown, they'd have to get an onside kick, and they would have to score again in 28 seconds. So it's not, it's not completely not impossible, likely. it's not over yet. Do not turn off your TV, because if that happened, and if you missed it, you'd be really upset with yourself. At this if point in the game, fan. that would be impressive. Yeah, to say the least. So the San Dimas Saints, 
were favored to win coming into this game. They ranked 520 in state for 2017. And the Bonita Bearcats ranked 332. So San Dimas gets a touchdown here. It's completely over. Zero opportunity for Benita. We'll see what happens on this play. O'Leary hands it off. Doesn't get the touchdown. Benita has one more timeout. We'll see what they'll do. They just like the clock run out. Great defense by the Bearcats. I think you got to take the time out here. I think you got to. You've got one more try. Clock's still running. Counting down from ten here. The San Diego like crowd. They're counting it down as well. The towel. That's the smudge and pot. And that's game. Smudge pot. Ladies and gentlemen. Saints this year. The smudge camps. pot champions for the 45th annual smudge pot matchup goes to your San Dimas High School Saints. Congrats to San Dimas. The crowd is running onto the field. A lot of excitement. 2016, the San Dimas Saints won the smudge pot 42 to 14, and now 2017, San Dimas Saints 19 to 8, an 11 point, 11 well point played game there. by both sides. As you can see there, right in the middle of everything, the silver smudge pot shining in the stadium lights being held by the players. There it is. Everyone trying to get a hand on it. It's almost sacred. Ready to take it home. They painted their school colors blue and white. Hoisting the trophy. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. I'm Dylan Gronset, along with TJ Sanchez. For all of us at LVTV and KWST, good night.